hi babes welcome back to my channel so the other day on valentine's day actually to be correct i shared this hairstyle along with my makeup in one of my previous videos as well as i shared it with you guys on instagram and you guys loved my hair it was actually the first time that i did it so today is the second time that i do the hollywood curls on my short hair and a lot of you guys asked how i did it so this video is showing you guys how i achieved this hairstyle so if you are here to watch this then just please keep on watching all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and jump into this video now i don't have anything on my hair this is my natural hair i just showered and let it air dry but before we apply any heat i am going to be spraying this on i have very little left this is how you know i have used this frequently now aside from this this is like my second or third bottle but this is k-pack color therapy luster lock multi-perfector daily shine and protectant spray so i'm gonna go ahead and spray this on my tips not on my entire hair so I'm going to take it. Oh my God. I'm going to try to grab all my hair. I'm just going to spray that. Like I said, just on my tips, not on my entire hair. So now these are Hollywood waves, but I do naturally have my hair split in the middle. Like I don't part it. It just parts on its own. So I'm going to go ahead and take this fine brush and split it. Oops. What am I doing? I'm going to split it right here. And just create a part now you can do it on this side as well just depends on you know what side you're most comfortable on i think this is my good side so that's why i'm going to be parting it here and then if you guys notice these little baby hairs will not flip like i can try to flip them but they'll just go right back so i'm just going to ignore those but mainly i'm going to focus on this So while I'm curling my hair so that the hair stays parted, I'm gonna go ahead and add some clips. Now I bought these at Target. However, Target does not sell them anymore. So you can also find them on Amazon. I'm gonna go ahead and find the link and link it below for you guys. I'll probably just title it hair clips from Amazon. Now for the rest of my hair, I'm gonna part it because I do curl my hair in sections. So I'm gonna take it about that much hair and I'm gonna just clip this away. And I'm gonna just take a clip So for the Hollywood curls, I am going to curl it towards my face because it's going to be coming this way. And then this hair will go away so it can all be like in one consecutive curl, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go ahead and just start curling it. Now, actually, before I move forward, um, the curler that I'm using is the Pro Beauty Tools curler. I got this one at Target for 25 bucks maybe. And if I'm correct, this is either the one inch or the one and a half inch. And... I'm just going to take this and I'm going to use it as a wand. I'm not going to actually use it like this. And I'm just going to, ooh, I want to make sure I don't burn myself. I'm going to go ahead and wrap the hair around. Hold it for a little bit. And I'll just let that fall. So I'm going to do the same thing going around. Actually, I'll go ahead and do one of these so you guys can see what I'm talking about, about it being one consecutive curl. So I'm going to take this and wrap it away. I usually just count in my head to like 15 or 20 seconds and then that's when I let go. So I'm going to go ahead and do this to the whole bottom section and then I'll come back to show you guys what that looks like. Okay guys, so I went ahead and curled the bottom portion of my hair. And as you guys can see, it's in one full direction. So that's what you guys want to have. I always use this handy dandy, the Makeup Shack mirror to look at the back of my hair. I'm um, just gonna quote Erica. But now I'm gonna go ahead and section another portion of my hair. And I'm gonna go ahead and clip this up. And repeat the exact same thing that we had just done. So I'm just gonna curl everything in this direction, so towards my face. So remember, this is gonna be coming this way, so on this side, it's gonna go away. And I'm just gonna do the same thing I previously did, which was just grab bits of my hair. Actually, this was too little, I can grab a little more. And just curl it.
So when I'm doing the back of my hair like this, I usually put my hand back here, the way you guys see it, because if I try to put my hand towards the front, I can't do it. I'll probably burn myself. So I'm gonna show you guys what I mean by that. So to do the back, I'll grab the hair, I'll put the curler, and then I'll just hold it right here. And this way I can actually see my hand and not burn my fingers. You can also like put a glove on. I know that that was like how wands were originally used, um, but I just use my hand bare like this. The I feel like the wand makes my hand get too hot. And then I just let it go. So I did already section the next portion of my hair and I'm just doing the same thing once again, grabbing the hair and curling it towards my face on this left side. Also, I don't think I mentioned this, but I do have the heat on the highest setting, which for my curler, I believe is 430 or 450. I'll check right now and give you guys the exact heat. I was gonna say heat measurement, heat number that I have it on. So I'll let you guys know right now. I tap it like this sometimes just to see if it's hot or not, but I have it at 430 actually, so it's not 415. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around again so that you guys can see the back. So this is what the back looks like right now. Now, if you guys pay attention, it's not perfect. Like the curls are not all perfect. That is okay. Let me turn around. So that is okay because we are still gonna be finishing off the top and then I'll show you guys how to actually achieve the Hollywood wave. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the next portion. Now, since we're getting up closer to the front, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the clip being that I'm now grabbing this hair that's here and I'm just gonna continue curling that. So now that I finished curling my hair, I'm gonna go ahead and use this texture spray. You can find this one at Ulta. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and I'm just gonna separate the hair and spray it. So once you have sprayed your whole head with this, you can go ahead and take a brush. I'm gonna be using this Luxury for Princess brush. This one is actually for my hair extensions, but I use it for my natural hair as well. So I'm just gonna take this and this is where the waves come in. You're just gonna lightly press this, not press this down, pull it down and through your hair and comb it. And do you guys see how the hair starts to come out? Waves, baby. <laughs> So look at how cute that looks. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and run through my whole hair. So now from the back, you should have something like this. If you guys can tell I'm looking at myself through the mirror, but you should have your hair fully combed through with the brush and don't yank at your hair, just softly pull through it. So this is the end result. Now you can also go ahead and clip this away with some bobby pins or a cute hair clip. But now this is the second time I do this, guys. When I did it, when was it on Valentine's Day and I shared it with you guys on Instagram, you guys were so sweet. And I was scared that it wasn't gonna come out, to be honest, because I had never tried it. So I thought my hair was gonna be like, up here and i'm so happy it came out you know cute i'm glad you guys liked it i loved it and i hope this was you know helpful for you guys if you didn't understand anything or if there's a product that you know you weren't sure about you can go ahead and ask me down below but if you made it to the end of this video then thank you so much for watching if you haven't already please follow me on my instagram it is mua erica 18 it is always linked below as well as my discount codes subscribe turn on your post notifications and with that being said i'll see you in my next video bye hey, I look better than what I've been through.